Hello, I'm back with another video for you guys. Today I went ahead and I filmed, I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be called, but I played with peach and coral colors. I've been wanting to do a tutorial with peachy, corally colors because they're just so beautiful and I feel like they're so soft. But they give you like a little nice flush look to the face, nothing too dramatic because sometimes pink alone can be a little too much and pink I don't think goes on everybody. I feel like coral looks so beautiful on like medium to you know deep toned skin and then depending on how fair you are you can go more of like with because there are different shades of coral there's like a light a you know and then the brighter coral and there's like pink coral there's peach coral i mean there's all kinds of corals right so today we're going to go ahead and call it like a peachy coral craze or something like that and um I think the eyes the lips and the cheeks are all like that peachy coral color and Look at that highlight, you guys. You know I'm obsessed with the highlights. I just feel like it makes your face look so youthful and just so glowy. And the brow bone, you guys can see the highlight. I got it in the inner tear duct and then I got it a little bit on the lid and then, I don't know, sorry. I'm obsessed when it comes to highlighting. I do keep my looks very natural because I like to wear a neutral face that you can wear to school, work. I'm actually taking the kids right now to uh, back to school shopping. So I want my face to be something that's gonna blend in with an everyday thing. I don't wanna walk out there with like smoked out crazy eyes as an everyday thing. So if you guys are like, oh my God, her stuff is so plain, her channel's always like the same stuff. I love natural beauty because I just feel like it's more you as an everyday thing. It's nice to smoke out the eyes and get dramatic sometimes, but I just like to, I like this whole natural thing, you know, and sometimes people can't tell that I'm even wearing foundation because my foundation blends right into my skin, literally, like people are like, so that's what you want. You don't want to have stuff caked on with like the big old bright eyes and the big old cakey face and you guys get the idea, right? So if you guys don't really like the whole neutral thing or it's starting to get boring, I'm sorry. I might, you know, fall is coming. So I'll be doing like plum colors and that green tone stuff and more mocha and all that good stuff. So I will be, you know, bringing those in. So if you guys like what you see on my face, then I guess just keep on watching. I'll show you how I got this beyond glowy face with a whole bunch of peach and coral colors. And don't forget everything is always linked down below and let's get started. We're starting off by priming our eyes with some white eye primer. We're going to apply this all over the lid. The white is going to help the coral pop more when we apply it onto our lid. Next taking this peachy color, we're going to go ahead and apply this into our crease, buffing it into the brow bone. We're going to blend it back and forth just to start off our transition color. Next, taking a little dome brush along with this soft brown color, we're going to put this right into the crease. This is going to define the crease a little more so that we have some warmth and definition in our eye. So we're going to go ahead and put this into the crease and then kind of V it out. Next we're going to take a little medium fluffy brush and we're going to blend out that line that we just created. We're going to go back and forth and then we're going to do little circular motions to diffuse the color into the crease. Next I'm taking this palette here and I'm going to be using this coral color right here with a flat concealer brush and I'm going to be patting this all over the lid. We're going to go ahead and go back and forth three to four times just to make sure that we work it up and build it to as bright as you'd like. Going back in with that same color that we already put into our transition and this little fluffy brush, we're going to go ahead and diffuse that little crease line that the shadow just created so that we have no harsh lines. So just go back and forth and diffuse it right into the crease. When we applied the eyeshadow, we kind of washed out a little bit of that crease color. So I'm going back and forth with a little bit of the MAC soft brown with this little 
dome slash pencil brush and we're gonna add a little more and then we're gonna go back with that little medium blending brush and we're gonna just blend it all away so that there's no harsh lines just a little bit you don't need too much product Next, taking this highlighter here, which is a holy grail for me, and this little brush, I'm going to be applying this in the inner tear duct of my eye. So you guys can see it's such a beautiful color. So taking that little brush, we're gonna start from the inner tear duct, as you guys can see, and we're gonna blend it back. This is going to give you a highlight in the inner corner. It just makes your eyes look so beautiful and glowy and awake. You guys will get a close up here in a second of what it looks like once you have your eyes done. Next I'm taking this little flat brush here with the color beige and I'm going to be applying this on my highlighting area here for the brow bone and we're going to make it pop since we are going with the very glowy look on the nose, the cheekbones and in the inner tear duct we're going to go ahead and just make that color pop as well. Taking that same color beige that we put on our brow bone, I'm going to gently pat a little bit of it on the center of the lid and I'm just going to take another clean finger there and kind of just blend it out so it's not on there harsh. You want to make sure that it just blends in naturally. highlighting you guys have seen this a million times so this is going to be very quick I just mixed both of those concealers tapped it with my finger and then I hit it with the beauty blender and voila we're done with our highlighting next I'm taking this highlighter here and I'm going to use the fingertips and I'm going to be building this on my cheekbones start slowly and then just build it up to intensify the highlight we're going to be setting this with a powder as well this blush here with a small little stipple brush since it is very bright I'm gonna go ahead and then just dust this on the apples of my cheeks and then we're gonna blend it back and like I said when you're working with a very bright blush like this you guys want to make sure that you start off slowly and then just build it up for my second blush this is a beautiful corally with a hint of yellow highlight underneath it. I'm applying this to the apples of the cheek and then just blending it all the way back as you guys can see that highlight already alone looks stunning. Taking that same highlighter that we used in our inner tear duct area we're going to go ahead and apply this to our cheekbones, our nose, and our cupid's bow. This was my first highlighter ever besides the Benefit High Beam. And I swear that this is hands down one of the best highlighters in the whole wide world. It is discontinued, but I'll find a link where you guys can find it down below. go ahead and cake on my mascara after that I'm taking this liner here which looks like a nice pearl color it also matches our whole highlight on our face we're gonna go ahead and apply this to our waterline then I will be taking this liner here and gently just lining my lips to give them a little bit of shape because I have very very thin lips after that I'm just gonna be taking some gloss which is a beautiful corally color it's called coral craze and after that the look will be complete. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching.